If you clicked on this video because you cannot pay your mortgage, you need to click the link in the bio. It is for the HUD Counseling Agency. They'll offer you some counseling and steps that you can take in order to prevent going into foreclosure. Also, you want to make sure you call and communicate with your lender. That's step one if you cannot pay your mortgage. You need to let your lender know what's going on because there may be more options than you think. However, if you just go radio silent, the lender's going to assume you're not paying the mortgage because you're not paying the mortgage. All right, so you've called the lender. Here are some options they may give you. First would be forbearance. So what forbearance does is it puts a pause on your mortgage payments for up to 12 months while you get whatever affairs you need to get in order. Your lender can only do this if you communicate with them what's going on. So what happens with those payments that have been put on pause? So they'll either make them due upon the forbearance being over or hopefully they'll tax them onto the end of your loan and they'll become like a balloon payment. So let's say your mortgage payment was a thousand dollars a month and you were in forbearance for six years. They may tax six thousand dollars onto the end of your loan as essentially a balloon payment. The option where they just do with the end of forbearance, some lenders do that and it kind of sucks because it's like uh, if I couldn't pay the mortgage six months ago, like how in the world can I pay it now? So in that scenario, your option may be to like do a refinance with that lender or another lender to pay off that balance to exit forbearance. Another option your lender may give you is a loan modification, which modifies the terms of the loan. So let's say, for instance, you have a 30 year loan and your payments are like a thousand dollars a month. With the loan modification, they can like extend the loan out to 40 years, which may lower your mortgage payments to, I don't know, eight hundred dollars a month. Or if you have like a large, large past due balance because you haven't paid your mortgage in like a long time. Because here's the thing, it takes a while to go into foreclosure. It's not just, hey, you don't pay your, your bills and go into foreclosure like a month or two later. Sometimes this thing goes out for like a year, 18 months. I've seen a person that was two years behind on their mortgage come across uh, my desk at one point. So um, if you have like this large past due balance, they may just forgive that large past due balance as well as an option. Because here's the thing, Believe it or not, like your lender does not want you to go into foreclosure or to sell the home because the best passive income they can make is just making money off of servicing fees and the interest on your loan. But one key component of the loan modification is showing the lender you can actually make the payments at the new amount. So typically there's like a three month trial period where you have to make three mortgage payments at the new payment and then they'll modify the loan because they're not just kicking the can down the road if you can't actually make the payments at any point in time, that will be a situation where we may have to go to step number four. So another option you may have to take is to sell the property, right? So I mean, if you have enough equity in the home and you can't make the payments, just sell the property. Like it's better than having your credit ruined and just losing the property. At least you can sell the property and get some equity out of the situation and maybe um, be able to pay off whatever bills or whatever has put you in this financial predicament as of right now. And then, you know, go rent for a little bit. The last thing is to maybe you can rent out your property, right? So let's say you can't make the mortgage payments because you've lost your job or you've, you're have you injured and you can't work anymore, right? So you can maybe rent the property out to somebody that can actually afford to make the payment. So let's say your mortgage is a thousand, you can rent the property out for $1,400 and then you would go maybe rent or live rent-free with like a relative, a uh, child or something like that. So there's some options for you. So hopefully you're never in this predicament at all, but um, check out some more videos. <laughs>